welcome to Military News YouTube channel. Russian soldiers claims that they had shot down a Barakta TB-2 armed unmanned aerial vehicle near Kharkov and applied to the command echelon. In the following hours it was learned that no image could be taken from a Russian drone and that the drone did not return to the base. After this development it turned out that Russian soldiers shot their own unmanned aerial vehicles. At the start of the war Ukraine had 5-20 Barakta TB-2s in service. Russia claims to have shot down several of them, and it is unclear how many remain. Still Ukraine continues to release video images that appear to show the drones destroying Russian vehicles. Air superiority is seen as a critical first step in modern warfare, and armed forces spend a great deal of time and money trying to ensure that they can quickly dominate the skies when fighting starts. Strategists studying Russia assumes that it would immediately use missile strikes to destroy Ukraine's air force and surface-to-air missile batteries before they could be used, and then move in scores of fighter jets, radar jammers and missile trucks to take control of Ukraine's airspace. With air superiority established Russia could freely use its fighters' bombers and drones to annihilate the Ukrainian military. That has not happened. In the first days of the invasion the Russian military appeared to hold back much of its air power, perhaps assuming that the Ukrainian military would not put up much of a fight. Instead Russian forces met stiff resistance when they tried to move in mobile missile launches and electronic warfare vehicles to control the airspace the convoys were ambushed by Ukrainians before they could reach the fight. It's certainly not the way we would prosecute an air campaign, said Michael Kaufman.